educating one's son to daven Mayriv and say the morning Shema. Is one chayv to obligate his son to start davening Mayriv, which we know is only a rishus, or to say Kriya Shema in the morning before Saif Zman Kriya Shema? Or does it not matter with a child, or does it begin by a certain age, and if so, what is the age that the father should begin being mechanich, educating his son to cite Krishna of the morning on time and Mayriv in the evening? So, before the age of Chinuch, below the age of Chinuch, it's a clear ruling in the Shulchan Aruch that a father is not obligated to educate his child in reciting the Shema by day or by night and the novelty of this statement is as we would assume that one is in any event not obligated to educate his child in a mitzvah before he reaches the age of chinuch so the chiddush here is is that even though Krishna is considered kabbalas il malchus shemayim nevertheless the Torah or the Chachamim did not obligate one to educate his children in this even when they are, be when they are below the age of Chinuch. This is unlike the halachic ruling recorded in the Gemara and in Shulchan Aruch Hilchus Torah that once a child reaches the age that he can begin speaking, the, uh, the father is obligated to teach him the verses of Torah Tziva and the verse of Shema Yisrael. This saying of teaching and educating the Rosh Yisrael is not connected to the obligation of Krishna, which we just said, it's a clear halachic ruling that one is exempt from doing so. Who rules this way? So is a clear ruling in the Mishnah in Maseches Berachis 20a, recorded in the Machaben Shulchan Aruch 70, Halacha 2, and in the Alter Ebbe Shulchan Aruch, Halacha 70, Halacha 2. What about above the age of Chinuch? So, we would say, above the age of Chinuch, certainly the father is obligated to educate his children, his sons at least, in saying Krishna, just like any other mitzvah. What's the difference? On the other hand, perhaps one could argue that since Krishna has to be said at a certain time, and children go to sleep early, wake up late, it's kind of difficult to obligate the father to educate his child in the saying of Krishna, which is a mitzvah dependent on a very small frame of time. So basically, this matter is disputed amongst the great Rishonim, Rabbeinu Tam, and Rashi. Rabbeinu Tam takes the position that a father is obligated in, in, in educating his child in Krishna by night and by day, by Mairiv and by Shachrus within the time that it's supposed to be said, and so is recorded as the first opinion in the Shulchan Aruch of the Alter Rebbe, the Shulchan Aruch of the Mechaber. This is the first approach which is also held by the Rush and other Rishonim. The second approach, however, is the opinion of Rashi Maseches Brachis, in which he holds that one is not obligated to educate a child in the in Saint Krishna neither by night or by day for the reason that the child the father is not with the child at this time as the child is usually sleeping and the father usually leaves the home. In the, mo in the morning, the father usually leaves the home while the child's still sleeping, and at night, the child goes to sleep early, and therefore, the father is exempt. Famous Machlekes Rishayim regarding if the child, if father is obligated to educate his son in St. Krishna by night and day within the proper time, while some say no, some say yes, both opinions are recorded in Shulchan Aruch. How do we rule? Practically, the final ruling of the Mechaber and of the Alter Rebbe, and this is how we rule the Halacha, is like Rabbeinu Tam, that we do educate the child to say Krishna both by morning and by evening within their proper time. So is emphasized by the Mishnah Bura, that the Chiv is not just to say it in the morning and night, but to say it within the correct times, and as we will soon mention, it includes the preceding and posterior blessings. That is understood from the ruling of Rashi, that's the second opinion brought in the Alter Rebbe, that according to Rabbi Tam, it's not just the actual Krishma that one has to educate his son to recite, but also the blessings that are said before and afterwards, both by morning and by evening.
So to summarize, according to the above, it is proper for a father to make sure that his son recites the morning Shema before Sayy Zman Kriya Shema. So whenever, just like you're careful to say before Sayy Zman Kriya Shema, once your son reaches the age of Chinuch, you have to be careful that he begins to do so as well, and that he davens the entire Mairiv from when he reaches the age of Chinuch. Now, why did we mention the entire Mairiv? Seemingly, it's only the Shema and its blessings that the child is obligated to be educated in. So the al explains in chapter 106 that in truth, there is only a dispute regarding if sh that we're obligated to educate a child of the age of Chinuch and Shema. That's where there's a dispute. But Shemena Esrei, everyone is in agreement that a father must educate his son to recite Shemena Esrei once he reaches the age of Chinuch and the al adds that this applies to both Shemina Esri of the nighttime and the daytime. So was the Alteba 1063, also recorded in the Mishnah Bura 1065, that it includes the evening Shemina Esri of Ma'iv. And therefore, we, as we recorded, one is to we educate a son to recite the entire Ma'iv prayer, Birchas Kriya Shema, Shema, and Shemina Esri at night once he reaches the age of Chinuch. The Chesed La'alaf and Makaf Achai record that it's not enough just to tell your child to do so, but that one should actually be careful to stay next to his child and make sure that he's verbalizing the words and saying the words and not just rely on the fact that they are saying that they have davened it. This is in order to make sure that they are going through with their obligation. Now, what is the definition of Chinuch? So the age of Chinuch of a child, al Rebbe rules in chapter 4, 43, 43, 3, that the age of Chinuch refers to the age of the child understands the mitzvah. So once the child understands the mitzvah of Shema and saying within the time frame, that's when he is to be educated. Practically, the later Achreinim debate when this is supposed to be. Some say from age 6 to 7, so writes the Mishnah Bura. Other places can write from 9 to 10, so writes the Chida in Kesher Gudal. And practically, as the final conclusion of the Kafachayim, it is Chafachayim, it all depends on the maturity of the child. So if the child is mature enough at age six, seven, begin saying it with him, begin educating him. If not, then wait a little longer, a little until he's a little older, at the age of nine, ten years old. To summarize, it is proper for a father to educate his son to recite Krishma before Saif's Man Krishma in the morning once he reaches the age of Chinuch starting from age 6 based on his maturity as well to educate him to recite the entire prayer of Mayrib once he reaches the age of Chinuch Shman Esri is an obligation Birchus Krishma it is proper for him to do that as well as we mentioned now what does a person do if the child is already sleeping does the father have an obligation to wake him up so regarding this some of today's place can have recorded and one may rely on the lenient opinion and not wake him up to say Shema. However, regarding Shema Esrei, which we already see as an obligation, perhaps this would be a different ruling.